To benefit from technologies, some crafted pieces of software are highly needed, such as SolidWorks and Fusion 360. It is true that both of them are famous and used by many professionals. However, there are many differences between them. SOLIDWORKS is a software created in 1993 by John Hirschtick and purchased on June 24, 1997 by the company Dassault System 2. This software, which is also known as DSS SOLIDWORKS, referred to its developer, is a CAD software used to create 2D or 3D solid models. It is considered as CAD software with high productivity up to 95% that provides many impressive features such as better design visualization, better products, faster iterations, improved communications, and design with fewer errors. Fusion 360 is a 2D 3D CAD software developed by Autodesk that was officially launched as a commercial product in 2013, so it is a fairly young program. This software has found its balance between engineering and 3D design. It is considered a user-friendly and versatile software that enables the integration of design processes from design and simulation to manufacturing. It is a new and simplified approach to parametric modeling, which Autodesk renews with each new release. Fusion 360 meets the expectations of entrepreneurs, engineers, and designers in 3D CAD. SOLIDWORKS is a 3D modeler that uses a parametric design. It generates three type of files relating to three basic concepts, the part, the assembly, and the drawing. These files are related. If you try to modify a part of the design you are creating, the result will appear in all the files concerned. It is used to develop mechatronic systems from beginning to end. At the initial stage, the software is used for planning, visual ideation, modeling, feasibility assessment, prototyping, and project management. The software is then used for the design and building of mechanical, electrical, and software elements. Fusion 360 is used to create 2D and 3D designs. What sets Fusion 360 apart from other modeling software is that it allows, in an environment, parametric modeling, surface modeling, and polygonal modeling. To take advantage of the possibilities offered by this technology, you must not treat each modeling mode approach separately, but you need to combine the tools from the three environments to reach the best results. Many tools for manufacturing are integrated into Fusion, allowing for planning, generation of tool paths, assembly management, and simulation. The special thing about Fusion 360 is that it utilizes cloud technology in a way that not many other CAD programs do. SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360 are both used to make drawings and create models, but the process of creating these models is not the same. There are some differences that we are going to point out. SOLIDWORKS, as you clearly understand from its name, is primarily a solid modeler. It is parametric, which means you assign dimensions to your geometry that will be applied directly. You can build your design with surfaces and also create any shape you can imagine. This software benefits its users with a solid modeling feature to create designs but there are some limitations. These components are good at capturing manufacturing data, such as mass, weight, etc., but they have some limits and put banners in your way while creating design. Often, your model will appear somewhat boxy and dual. The best way to benefit from this software is to use both surfaces and solids to achieve truly realistic models. It comes with a box of tools that you can use freely. This software is mainly known for its 3D features, but you can also draw 2D designs. However, it should be reserved for annotations. You should use your 3D models to create 2D drawings. SOLIDWORKS drawings compromise at least one view generated from either a part or assembly. Fusion 360 offers several modeling environments for different types of modeling, from technical details to organic surfaces. The user interface with Fusion 360 is straightforward, and it has drawn inspiration from Google SketchUp in its layout. Designers and engineers can take advantage of this CAD software to explore potential shapes for attractive and dynamic consumer products. The first environment of this software is parametric modeling, which is based on 2D sketches, forming a closed network of curves the relationship between sketch elements and dimensions are defined in the sketch and reflect the design intent. The second environment is surface modeling. It contains surface creation tools, extrusion, sweep, 
etc. that allow surface creation based on sketch profiles. In this environment, a cloud solid can be decomposed into its constituent surfaces. The third environment is polygonal modeling, which allows the creation of organic or ergonomic shapes, the creation of T-spline from primitives, boxes, cylinder, etc. The creation from profiles by extrusion, sweeping, and the possibility of transforming a surface created from the model environment or patch into T-spline to edit the shape. Long story short, Fusion 360 comes with many tools that should always be combined to make the process of designing products easier and give better results. In SOLIDWORKS, you can create animation by dragging the time bar along the timeline to the specific point you choose, and then drag the component you want to create animation to a target location. The Motion Manager moves the component from its initial position to the position you designated at the specified time. Use the Animation Assistant to create animation or to add rotation, bursts, and gatherings to existing motion studies. Fusion 360 supports keyframe animation so as to make all kind of animations for your assemblies such as engines, gearboxes and more. By using the transform tool, you can move your components to animate them in a timeline. Just keep in mind that the organization of your components matter here, and complex animations should probably be done in another tool specifically for animation. In general, Fusion 360's animation feature is best suited for simple visualization. It is possible to create photorealistic renderings with SOLIDWORKS by using PhotoView 360, which makes things so much easier. PhotoView 360 is a SOLIDWORKS recent add-in that produces photorealistic renderings of modelings. It allows you to manipulate the appearances, lighting, scene, and apply many other specifications to the model. PhotoView 360 is available with SOLIDWORKS Professional and SOLIDWORKS Premium. By these simple steps, you will be able to have a realistic final rendering. You just have to click Tool, add in Photo View 360, start a preview in the graphics area, edit appearances, the scene, decals, and lights. When you feel that your design is ready to render, perform a final step by choosing Photo View Final Render. In Fusion 360, there is no need for any adding. You just have to head over to the model or patch icon and hover over it to get a fly out that lets you select render. Once you are in the rendering workspace, you will see the background and model change a little as it is optimized for visualization. You will also notice that the toolbar has tools to control materials, environment, and quality of rendering. You need first to apply materials to your design with the workflow. You can give specific materials attributes to your model. For example, you can set your solid bodies to be made of marble wood, various materials, glass, and more, before changing the environment style with the choice of eight different styles, and be able to rotate the light source to control where highlights show up on your design. Fusion 360 gives you the right to choose the type of rendering process. It can be quick, normal, or advanced. It is recommended to use a quick render at the beginning to see how things look, then make adjustments to materials and environment before you render with advanced. Rendering time can vary depending on assembly size, reflectivity, transparency of parts, and few other things. SOLIDWORKS is used by a large class of industries, technical drawers, engineers, and specialists, but it is specifically designed for mechanics, designers, and building professionals. It is used in medical device companies, transport factories, and technical services. Fusion 360 is indeed considered as a young software compared to SOLIDWORKS, but it is used in many fields and by many industries, electronic, electronic components industries such as Samsung, by furniture designers, and also in aerospace companies. Beginners will find some difficulties using SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360 because both of them require some basic information about using CAD tools. SOLIDWORKS is a good tool for mechanical engineering design jobs. It makes the process of creating a 3D result of a piece of a machine or even building easier. Its interface contains some powerful tools, but few people use them. Fusion 360 is not difficult. It has a complete suite of 3D modeling tools, making it quite easy to create solid models. Moreover, this software is flexible and a bit easier to use, with a great push-pull tool allowing to create great organic geometry and surfaces. SOLIDWORKS is not only available on Windows and Mac, but also in touch, pen, or dial input devices to guarantee the best experience. When it comes to Autodesk Fusion 360, it is available for both Mac and Windows users. 
Expo Unlicensed of SolidWorks Tander is $3,995. The annual subscription service for a Tander license, which covers technical support, upgrades, and more for one year, is $1,295. However, this software offers a free 12-month license for all qualified educators, makers, hobbyists, military, students, and sponsored organizations. When it comes to Fusion 360, as a hobbyist, student, or even entrepreneur, you could qualify for free license. You can use Fusion 360 for free if you are a student or educator, in which case you can obtain a three-year subscription. You can also get a free license if you are engaged in a hobby business and your revenue does not surpass more than $100,000 annually or using it for your project outside of your primary business. If you do not fit any of the cases above, you can still acquire it with an annual subscription of $495 per year or $60 per month.